Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to perform multi-threading in Python. So if you have covered the basic concepts in Python, you definitely have to learn this because uh, this will help you parallelly run functions in the program. And if you have a single core or multi-core processes, means uh, you can uh, create new threads to assign or uh, to run each individual uh, functions simultaneously. So it can take care of a particular process. So this will be definitely helpful if you are uh, doing projects in networks because you have to simultaneously send or uh, receive messages. So let's dive into the project and see how threading works. Now I'm going to import threading for this. So import threading. This is an inbuilt module. And after this, I'm going to define a normal function. So def counter I will have some n so that is the argument I am going to pass for this function so based on the n it will just uh, print it now what can I say is while before that I will initialize i equals 0 or 1 1 will be nice so i less than n I will print the i and I will increment i plus 1 so it can run up to n so I'm going to display all the numbers starting from 1 up to n so this is the function we are going to have in order to clearly distinguish between the threads I'm going to have another argument I will have it as thread name thread name and uh, here in the print statement I can have thread name thread name comma 1 so this is the simple function we are going to have and after that I can say print thread name thread name comma I will have it as completed okay this is the function we are going to write and we are going to call this function with uh, two different threads so for that I am going to create two different threads I will call it as thread1 equals threading dot thread of you have to pass the function name here that is target equals the function name that is counter for us and here I can pass the arguments so args of so first I am going to pass a thread name I will call it as thread1 comma so here I am going to print up to uh, 10 and I'll just leave as it is and you can also pass the name if you want there are like multiple arguments here so currently I am not going to pass because we are already uh, passing like a thread name as an argument. So that's done. So this is for thread one. And similarly, we are going to initialize thread two with the same argument, but I am going to pass only five for n, and I am going to initialize this as thread two. So this is done. So don't worry, you can also run this in a normal uh, Python program. So I'm just running it as an uh, Jupyter notebook. Now I'm going to start the threads. So thread one dot start. So this will start your uh, function. And after that thread two dot start. So this will start your second function here with the count of five. And finally, I will print main program completed so this means uh, the main program is completed and the thread is still running means we will get to know using this uh, print statement okay let's check it out run this now we may have some overlapping here so first uh, we have uh, thread one that is printing up to uh, 10 here and after that thread one is completed now here 
while thread 2 is starting uh, the our main program is also completed and after that thread 2 is also completed here so this is like it's intervening between uh, other threads it's not like uh, synchronizing uh, with each other because of these things and and we can also have some kind of uh, delay in order to see whether uh, the thread is simultaneously working or not so currently we can see uh, the first thread is uh, finishing first and after that second thread is uh, starting and in between itself the main program is reaches to the end and uh, the second thread is running and it's completed after the main program is uh, completed so this function is running separately now to difference this we will import time and I'm going to add a delay so time dot delay sorry sleep of delay so I'm going to pass this as a parameter so delay here I can pass the delay as so for the first thread I can have two delay and for the second I can have one so that's done now let's initialize this and uh, check the results run this run this okay I didn't run this now you can see right thread 2 is running here but uh, before that the main program is completed because of the delay it's just uh, finishing the task very quickly so thread 2 is like finished uh, way early than uh, thread 1 so this is how the threading works so we just started the threads simultaneously and but the main program is completed before because of the delay here and after that thread to have like a lesser delay that's why it's completed uh, before the thread one and after that thread one completes here you can clearly observe the two threads are simultaneously uh, working for you uh, but the main function is uh, completed so this is how you can utilize uh, threading uh, what happens if you want to synchronously uh, working with this two uh, let's say you want to finish the task for first thread and after that move on to the second thread and exit the main program what happens if you want to do that so for that maybe I'll just copy this have some space and copy this again so this will be execute threads in orderly fashion or in order is enough so for this I am going to uh, initialize the same thing but here thread 1 will uh, first complete and after that thread 2 will uh, go and I am going to have like 0.5 only as delay because it's going to run one by one so let's run this once and uh, we are just starting both of these threads and after that we are, what we are going to do is thread one dot join thread two dot join so this will uh, make the process like uh, execute the threads uh, one by one so this will complete first and after that thread two will complete and after that the main program will be completed so this will wait until all threads finish and uh, here this is start the threads start the threads so let's run this so here I just uh, forgot one thing uh, we have to do a uh, thread lock if you want to uh, finish the thread first and uh, second so currently just uh, waiting for until all the threads uh, finish the process and uh, ends the main program so if you want to have that uh, thread lock we will just have this in the function so here we pass the function 
and uh, before the loop we will have the we will acquire the lock and after the function ends we will release the lock so here i am going to acquire the thread lock so thread lock equals threading dot lock lock run this now i am going to access this thread lock in the function thread lock dot acquire so this will uh, lock the threads so that the other threads uh, won't access this uh, function so it will just wait until it releases the lock after the thread is completed we will release the lock so thread lock dot release so here i am going to print acquiring lock and similarly i am going to print releasing lock so this is the custom function we have made run this run this acquire the lock now let's start acquire the lock now currently it's just uh, finishing the first thread it's completed it's uh, releasing the lock and after that it's acquiring the lock again for the thread 2 and it's uh, completing the process and after that it's releasing the lock and we are going to the main program so this is how you can uh, execute the threads in order and using this join we will wait until all the activities of the threads are finished and after that the main program will exit so this is the best practice you can do and uh, the third way is you can also inherit this thread and uh, make your like custom uh, class and you can use those class for uh, multi threading function but for simpler things you can uh, use this way so this is for access thread locks so that's done i think using this you can clearly execute the thing simultaneously if you didn't use the lock means as i showed before it will just simultaneously uh, run things in order and it will display the results and that's it guys this is the basics of uh, multi threading you can uh, similarly execute uh, different functions instead of counter uh, in some other projects if you want and using this you can finish up the process very quickly and uh, it will utilize all the power in the cpu so that will be very helpful for you and if you guys have any uh, queries regarding this uh, concepts please uh, leave a comment i will definitely answer your queries apart from that stay tuned for the next video